Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've actually never done. I'm going to be doing not really a tutorial because I'm not going to put like crazy eyeshadow on or anything. I'm just going to film a couple videos after this so I thought why not show them my makeup. I've never done a tutorial so um, I might only do like my foundation or something and on a normal basis like even when I'm filming I don't do foundation but I wanted to play around with makeup today. Oh it is. <laughs> So I thought I would just do that. So that's why my hair looks a mess. I just kind of like, you know what? I'm going to play with makeup. Might as well film a video. So we're going to try it. I might have to, you know, like stop during, I don't know, like bronzer or something. And that just be the end of the video because it takes me about 30 to 40 minutes to do my makeup if I'm taking my time. And I don't want to have to, one second, I don't want to have to rush it just because I'm filming a video. Because my videos have to be under 15 minutes for in order for them to upload on my iPad. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, and I'm not going to do, again, crazy makeup that you're going to have to see, like, specific details and colors. So, and my makeup is right under, like, the camera, so if you feel shaking or hear anything like that, it's just that. So I want to get started as, quick, as quickly as I can. I'm just going to put my hair back so I look a little bit crazy. You just don't mind that, peeps. <laughs> I look right here. Anyways, all right, so I... I tend to put it up every time. Okay, I'm going to start off with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. It looks like that. I don't have time to be telling you guys the products do work. Um, anyways, I should have moisturized before, but I have my mirror right here, so if I'm looking over there, that, or over here, that's why. So, just applying, oh, stupid hair, my moisturizer. Make sure you always apply it to your neck, guys. I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's not the best, guys, but that's why I haven't, like, I've never filmed tutorials or anything on my channel, and it's because the lighting is so bad. I just don't want you guys to have to deal with that when you're watching my videos, because that's not very fun. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this off because it ain't working, honey. <sighs> Stupid thing. I lost my one, sorry, that I use usually. Alright, so you're just going to have to deal with the crazy frizzy hair now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my foundation. Again, normally I don't wear a foundation, but today I'm going to just because I just bought this recently and I've only tried it out once. So yeah, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. Um, I'm in the shade N12, which is a little pink for me, but that's okay. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to um, put it onto my face. So I'm just going to take this right here. Again, sorry about the moving. I'm going to just take this, and I've all, I clean it every time I'm done using it, so it's already clean. I'm just going to squirt it onto here. About a pump and a half. I'm do my whole entire face. So I'm just going to dip into the foundation. A little piece of my hair. And I'm just going to dot it all over my face before I blend it in. This is um what I noticed the first time I used it is it doesn't dry quickly, which is a good thing, you know? You don't want, like, the Revlon, oop, the Revlon color stay, it dries extremely quickly, so it's like you've got to work with it, like, you can't do what I'm doing right now, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, this is, again, a little pink for me, so it doesn't match me perfectly, um, and it's a little, I would say kind of dark but light, like, I don't know, it's kind of, like, in between. But, yeah, I just applied that all over my face. And I'm just, um, you know, bouncing the beauty blender onto my face and down my neck. And this foundation I've already worn once, like I said. And so far it is amazing. Again, <laughs> it's not my complete shade, but I can actually work with it. Um, I feel like it's too dark, but too light. I don't know. It's just like a mixture. Every time I, like, the first time I wore it, I forgot to ask my mom if it, like, I like to ask someone that can actually see my face. That makes no sense, but, um, yeah, just because I like to ask them if it looks too dark or anything. There's still a little bit on my thing, so usually I take the excess and do right here because, for some reason, I always miss that spot. I don't know why. You see how it already gives me, like, I don't know if, you, yeah, that luminous glow. It's so gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. So far, loving the 
this foundation. Hopefully no one comes in here. Blending it onto my ears, down my neck. And oh, I just love how this looks on me. It's like a light medium coverage. Definitely wouldn't say it's full coverage at all. Um, which I like about it because I definitely don't even need medium coverage. I need light coverage, like a BB cream. Anyways, today I'm going to see, because I had broke out like all in here, not really broke out like pimples, but in like hives and stuff. Um, and I don't know if it was the professional or just because my beauty blender was extremely dirty. But, so, and I don't know if it was this, so I'm going to try this today. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm just going to, again, pump it onto here, which this pump pours out so much. You have to try and control it as much as you can. I think that's the lowest I've ever pulled out. Thank you. Okay, so now, I'm, again, I'm going to take my beauty blender. So this might only be, like, my face. Maybe I'll do a film, like, the other part of it. Um, yeah, I'm just dotting that underneath my eyes. I don't like, like, that really highlighted look underneath the eyes. I just don't think it looks that pretty. Mostly on me. So I'm just applying this underneath my eyes. And, um, what's that thing called? Um, and on my blemishes. Gosh, actually. And I do have on some mascara right now, so, yeah. I'm just... You know, again, sponging the thing. And I might be getting a camera for my, for Christmas, um, like with the money that I get. Should have taken off that mascara first because now it's leaving like little black dots. But anyways, but yeah, so I'm hoping, or at least a laptop, so I can at least edit my videos. Um, because it's not the best quality on the iPad, I know that guys, I seriously know that. But if I had an editor, I think it would, you guys would enjoy my videos a little bit more. Okay, so that is done. Um, so, look at that luminous glow. Oh my gosh, I love this foundation. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel, oh no, 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 sorry. Yes, I am. No, I'm going to take my Sigma Eyeshadow Base and Persuade. I was trying to think um, of something, but yeah. I'm going to take this with my Sigma P82. I just washed my brushes recently, like a day or two ago. So they're all nice and clean. So applying this to my lids. The brush, buffing it out. I already applied this today too because I finished school like two hours ago. Or three hours ago, whatever time it is now. Um, I probably won't see this in the exact same day. But yeah. Okay. And then... Yeah, it's probably going to be just my foundation. Because I really hate rushing on my makeup. So, yeah. I'm just going to go in with my fingers and blend. It's even more. Alright, now I'm going to set my Rimmel Stay Matte, my makeup with my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to set it with that. I'm going to set it with the Sigma F30. Um, with this foundation, just because it's so luminous and stuff, I don't want to set my whole face because then that will just take away from the you know, glowiness of my skin. So I'm just going to take a little bit, because I, I have dry skin, guys, I do, but I tend to get oily a little bit right here, just a little bit. So I'm just going to very lightly dust it onto my forehead and my nose. Even though I'm dry on my nose, too, I still tend to get oily there as well. That's the only place, and I'm just going to, you know, bring the excess anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, what I'm going to do under my eyes, but I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take the Sigma P84, and if you guys want to see a review on these Sigma brushes, I already have one up. I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting this all over um, where I put that concealer underneath my eyes. And where I put that regular concealer. I love this brush for packing on the powder underneath. So it's the exact same powder, guys. Oops. Oh. Um, okay. And now I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which I have been loving to death. Um, I think I might contour today. I haven't contoured with it. I've only bronzed with it. It looks like this. It's just such a beautiful bronzer. Like, it is ridiculous. Um, you can get this at Sephora. <clears throat> just tap it in a couple times and tap off. What? Tap off the brush. No. Sorry, <laughs> that's my brother. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend this right here, like right where my contour would go. My contour, yeah, my contour. 
but you know, buffing it in a little bit more. So I'm focusing it there while I'm buffing it in. And I don't bring my bronzer or my contour any more than right at the end of my eye. Um, it tends to look muddy on me personally. I know some people bring it like all the way up to here, but even with contouring, it looks a little bit muddy on me. So I try not to do that. I love this bronzer. So again, I'm just pretty much like contouring, but more, I'm more bronze on my face. It's hard to explain what I'm really doing. And again, I think I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to take a little bit more and do it right on the temples, which are your um, thing right there. So I'm just doing that. I tap it in just a little bit for the um, temples. Um, just because I don't like that really like bronze look right here. I'm going to blend everything out once I put on my blush, my highlighter, and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to do the face on this um, and then I'll do a part two. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take, because I'm at like 11 minutes, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Lilac Blush Duo. And you can get this on bhcosmetics.com. I'm just going to take the blush right here and my Real Technique Stippling Brush. I'm going to kind of pack on the blush today. I'm going to pull it around on my hand. Because even if I get in there very little, this thing is so pigmented. That right on the cheeks. Right on the back of the cheeks, actually. Because I don't want, um, I have pretty high pigmented um, cheeks, like right in the front. So I try to always put my blush right back here. And again, we're going to blend it out. Then I'm going to take that highlighter with a Claire's brush. Just, you know, a you can get a fan brush. I've been looking for one that's good, but I haven't found any. So I've just been using this. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and put it right here. Do, make sure you don't go underneath your eyes because that will just accentuate your pores and your fine lines. So you want to bring it right on the cheekbones, which is just, you know, the hard bone right there. And bring it down the nose, very little on the nose, just because I, you see that shine? Oh my gosh, I love this highlighter, right on the chin. Don't put too much, especially if you have a pimple, because it'll just accentuate it again even more. And put the tiniest bit on my cupid's bow. Then again, right on the forehead. Okay, so I think that is it for face. If I forget any stuff on the face, I'll definitely put it into the eyes. One, but I'm going to do a part two because I need to end this video, but so far, oh, I didn't blend. I'm going to take that powder brush and just blend, 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 blend. Hopefully it's blending good enough. All right. Anyways, so, oh, I didn't contour. Never. So that is what I have so far. You see the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter is just gorgeous. Um, so if you guys want to see the next part of this video, which is going to be everything else besides the face, um, uh, I can't link it down below because it's not uploaded already, but it'll, you can just go to my channel and you'll see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this face tutorial, and whenever I'm wearing foundation, this is usually what I do, um, even if I'm not wearing any. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!